Meat is a modern story of the animals we eat as told by the people who never get to say their piece. From the solitary hunter to the industrial pig farmer, it's a thought-provoking documentary that shines a light on everything that lies behind the supermarket shelves. And to tell us more about it, please welcome to the cafe writer, director, producer David White and one of the stars, Josh James. Yes, welcome. Hello. Thank you. First up, David, tell me a little bit about this documentary. Now, why did you decide to make it? Uh, so I'm, I'm from a farm, like I'm a, uh, come from a sheep and beef farm. And one of the things that I started to realise was that if you wanted to learn about meat, you actually only had two kind of uh, places that you could look. A, activism sites, which mm. are very hardcore, and then farmers saying everything is absolutely brilliant. and look With how rainbows and yeah. things, yeah. And I was like, well... I come from a farm, I know the reality of that. I think I just wanted to show people the reality of farming and what it was and the people behind it so that they can make a more informed choice when they're in the supermarket. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, probably a good point to take a look at a clip from Meat. There you go, no propaganda at all, just straight up reality of what it's like from a farmer's perspective. And Josh, I saw a clip of you in there. Uh, what's your role in this movie? Well, I'm the hunting fellow that goes hunting and shoots the animals. Right. <laughs> well, why did you want to be part of this? I was quite keen to get involved. I make a lot of hunting and fishing videos and post them on the internet and I'm always getting negative press right. about people who don't understand. They say it's cruel and it's unethical and you should go buy meat from the supermarket and all the rest of it. And a lot of people just don't realise that when we hunt an animal it's out there having a happy time dancing around in the wilderness and then the next minute it's on its way to the chiller for us to eat. So I was quite keen to get involved because it, it's a real eye-opener for, for people who don't look at the whole aspect and of course as well as the farming side of things too, the, a lot of the farmers do love their animals, they're yeah. not cold-blooded killers like so people make them out to be. Have you seen the, fi you've seen the final product, the yes, movie, and yes. how do you think you come across in it? Well, great actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, David did really, I heard that you're a charismatic mountain man. I can be when I'm in the mountains. It was quite hard work because David and, and the cameraman were very unfit. So right, so they went on. They went what a week long hunt with you, did they? Yes, we went on a, a, an excellent adventure down in South Westland, and David was quite surprised when I said we had to climb to the top of the mountain and 50 metres up the mountain when they were gasping and choking for breath. I realised it was going to be quite a challenge. Did you keep so. waiting for them. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was mission impossible. I wish we had behind the scenes. <laughs> for the behind the scenes of Doco. Yeah. Hey, hey, David, you you chose four people, so you've got three farmers and yep. Josh. I mean, how did you choose the, the select the uh, farmers that you're going to take place, take part in it rather? Uh, well, um, I wanted to have a diverse uh, selection of people, so we do have an industrial pig farmer, like an intensive pig farm, and. I didn't want to do another chicken intensive farming because I think it's the same kind of idea and rhetoric. So I wanted to have a sheep and beef farmer, obviously, because it's a huge amount of our meat comes from that place. Uh, Josh is kind of where we were and people don't really know about hunting. And that's kind of this idea of he kind of challenges you to think about that stuff as well. And with someone like Josh, I'd, I met him for 20 minutes and I was like, he's the guy. Same with Jill, the farmer. Like, these are all very charismatic, very interesting people with great things to talk about. And yeah. it's interesting because I guess a lot of farmers don't like camera crews having a look at what's behind the fence, so to speak. But, you know, there was no off-limit stuff for you. Absolutely not. Like, I think one of the things that they are, they're very proud of what they do. And I think sometimes we don't give them a fair go to explain the processes. So, like, with the pig farm, which obviously is incredibly hard to get access to, to, uh, Ian would let Paul just go shoot whatever he wanted. Like, we had complete and utter access. Everyone signed their release forms before we left their farm, wow. so we were allowed to edit whatever. I had final cut. So there was no, absolutely no kind of trying to manipulate the story from their wow. point of view. So you will get to see a very raw version of what farming is like. Going to be confronting great. for some people, but it sounds like it's going to be definitely worth a watch. Yeah, very much so. Like yeah. We've just had some vegans watch it, and they loved it, and they think that people should go see it. We've just had some farmers watch it. They've written a review. They love it. They think that everyone should see it. So we've got part of both sides really kind of going, everyone should see this oh, film, which is very mm. exciting. Awesome. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank yeah, you so much for coming in. Yeah, awesome. And if you'd like to see this stunning documentary, Meet, it will be in cinemas from this Thursday.